This video is brought to you by Samsung Private Share. What's up guys, we're back and it's time to take a look at some of the new exciting innovations that Samsung has planned for the future. We'll be taking a look at a stretchable display that actually breathes in and out, creating an experience that we have never seen before, plus some more exciting things. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and let's get right into it. Now first up, we have the Human Eye Camera Project. Samsung had quite the journey with the camera megapixels, they went from 48 all the way to 200 megapixels. The Dinosil HP1 which was just announced a couple of days ago. The big question is where will things go in 5 years? Well, Samsung is planning to release a camera sensor with resolution similar to our human eyes. Yes, according to this roadmap, by 2025, Samsung will unveil a 576 megapixel sensor which is almost the resolution of our eyes. You can literally see the eye logo on the chart instead of the pixels. So this is Samsung's eventual plan 5 years, technically 4 years years from now, technology will surely improve a lot. It's definitely exciting and something to look forward to. The next step is the display. What if I tell you that in the future, we could have a display on our smartphones that could move outward or inward as we're watching a video or playing video games. This is Samsung's new stretchable OLED display and it literally breathes and moves as the lava flows. It looks so, so cool. This type of display could come to smartphones, TVs, tablets, and even cinema displays. This will make the experience of content consumption, especially watching movies, to a whole new immersive level. Now before we move forward, we're gonna take a quick look at Samsung's private share. Private share is a Samsung Samsung exclusive service that uses the next generation blockchain based encryption technology. Through private share, you can securely send your personal and sensitive content such as travel photos, family videos, and even confidential business documents. Receiver won't be able to screenshot, save, edit, or delete the file. You can set custom expiration time for the files from a minimum of a minute all the way up to 180 days. You can send up to 10 files at once with a maximum size of 100 MB. Now, how does it work? Well, Private Share is actually preloaded on Samsung Galaxy devices with One UI 3.1 support. If you don't have the app on your phone, don't worry, you can download it from the Galaxy Store. So, open up the Private Share app and click on the plus icon. Alternatively, you can click the share button on other applications. From that, you can quickly select the Private Share option. You can transfer files using your own phone number, and if for some reason you don't have a SIM card, Private Share will automatically create a private number for you in order to send those files. You can also choose between the two numbers. Now once that's done, select the contact or type the number that you want to send to and boom, that's it. Once the file is reached to the recipient, you can see the full activity when the recipient opens the files and best of all, you can revoke the file once sent so it gets automatically deleted from the recipient's end. So yeah, private share is definitely one of the best and exclusive feature on Samsung Galaxy smartphones only. I've been using it for a while now and I highly recommend it. Now next up we have the Samsung wireless earbud innovation. The Galaxy Buds are some of the best earbuds that you can buy on the market. While they are water resistant, they are definitely not waterproof. So out comes a brand new pattern that shows off a swim proof design for the next generation Galaxy Buds. This pattern shows off a tube like structure that when attached, it will make the Galaxy Buds fully waterproof so you can swim while listening to the music. Now in the future, Samsung is planning to add more devices to its foldable lineup. The Trifold Galaxy smartphone is very real. We actually saw a full-on video demo of this. There's also a full-screen foldable laptop with underskin camera that's going to transform how laptops will work in the future. Let me know which one of these technologies are most exciting. Now coming back to the present, Samsung has done something really really good that's actually going to make a difference especially for the non-flagship Samsung smartphones. Samsung will now allow users to increase the RAM on their phones. Yes, the official update is rolling out to Galaxy A52s in India. This update allows you to allocate additional 4GB of memory to the RAM. This will help a ton with multitasking and of course keeping all those apps in the background. Now as for Samsung flagship phones, I think they already have a lot of RAM so I don't think Samsung will bring this virtual RAM upgrade to their flashes, but definitely it will make a difference for Samsung's mid-range phones. So that's all the latest news. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.